Brandy. What are we doing again today? <laughs> yeah. I ain't messing with you. <laughs> we doing something today? Uh, yeah. Are we doing something today? I forgot. We, we, we got a show today? Yes, we do. We even got a show today? Yes. Oh, okay. We got a show. What's the show about? Today. Okay. About. About? The Mighty Most. The Mighty Most. Before we get to that. Before we get to that. Late Ill Kid at one y'all still holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, too? They are yeah. Come in with another wonderful episode of Beats, Vibes, Life. Usually, he brings an album, I bring an album, we hash it out, have a good time, whether we still like it, don't like it, all that good stuff. But we got a special today, and before we get to it, to my left, esteemed colleague, distinguished gentleman, <laughs> Arcatron. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? A R C K A T R O N dot com. That is Woo. me. That's who I am. Place to be on the M I C right yeah. over there. And we're here. We you know we got some stuff to do today, you know what I'm saying? And and to my right, I think to my right, I don't know right from left. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we have the esteemed colleague. Yeah. Inter- interview extraordinaire. That's what's up. Comic Con Master. Believe that. Nerd soul. N-E-R-D, S-O-U-L. What's up, y'all? It's great to see you. Glad you're back. Big shout out to Markeith Collins, already in the chat. Shout out to IG. We ain't got nobody there yet, but you're going to be there. So hopefully. We here. We hopefully here. somebody will be there. Hopefully. So, big <laughs> shout out to Thought Crimes. What up, what up? Enrique Carrion, Tim I for supporting the Patreon. Big shout out to y'all. Big shout out to Malcolm Barrett of Timeless of... Uh, what better off Ted of tons of other dope stuff? Oh, uh, the dude, the, the panel. Oh, the dude from um, oh yeah, better off Ted. He was the, the, the um the the press. He was the yeah, uh, the, the scientist. The, the scientist, two nerdy scientists. Uh, he was on one of the panels that I got to he cover. He just was in something too recently. Um, probably so, and I just missed. It. No, no, no. I what's, think he's on something again? on what's Netflix. Name? Malcolm Barry. I'm looking right Um, now. so anyway, big shout out to him. Uh, Joel Thompson met him. Uh, big shout out to Hannibal Taboo for giving me the opportunity to film that panel. Well, actually, it. You know, he, he just hooked it up. Anyway, big shout out to everybody that stopped through, said what up to me at LA Comic Con. It was great seeing y'all. All them vibes and energy. Felipe Smith, uh, Corey Turnbull, all y'all guys are dope. Now, this week is a, is a special milestone for an album that is very near and dear to me. And the album we're talking about is Yasin Bey, a.k.a. Most Deaths, Black on both sides. Yes, sir. Um, this is going to be a celebration, so we're going to do more than just the album a little bit. First, I want to know from you how did you how did you come up on Most Deaf stuff when you first when you first heard Most Deaf? How did you first um, hear? That? First time I heard Most Deaf was either something sound bombing, but most likely mm-hmm. it would probably like the first time I really paid attention was uh, seeing the uh, definition. Ah. Video. Okay. That was the first time I saw him. I saw who he was, um, and him and Quali at the same time. So that's yeah. how I got put on to most deaf, basically. All right, word, word. For me... What was that for you? For me, I think it would either have to be something like either Sound Bombing or the Daylight album. Okay. I can't remember which one came first, either Big Daylight. Brother Beat... Daylight came or, out in 96, yeah, so... Then probably, like, Big Brother Beat, and I was just like, oh, it's this new guy. Cool. Yeah. And then I think Sound Bombing came, and I was like, oh, Okay. And Sound Bombing 2 is Sound Bombing 2 is a compilation album that I think actually is worth its weight. There's not many compilation albums you, in hip hop. You wanna do that for the show? We we might do that one day. Sound Bombing 2, we I still, think we still, be, we're still looking our wounds from that Tony Touch beat minor show. Yeah. I don't know, we can but, do I think, but I think but I think Sound Bombing 2 like is that special one. Uh, Sound Bombing 2 is the one that had the uh Beat Junkies. DJ Bad Boom. No, no, no. What um, was on it? Um, all right. I know the beat jumping. Feral Monch was on it. Most was on what it. What songs were um, on it? I oh, mean. uh, Any Man from Eminem. Yeah, yeah. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Uh, ba-dum. 1999, or sorry, 1999 from Common. Yes, uh, Common, Common and uh, Quali. Sada so, so X, you mean? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sada so X. Um, uh, <laughs> it's okay. Next Universe by Most Deaf. High Tech Production again. Um, bling, 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 bling. Ooh, I love that song. All right. Um, He's about high technology. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Well, oh, no. This is a, uh, that's, that's a, a barrel monster. That actually there. is the only sound bomb I believe that my brother had or I still have. I actually yeah. had that CD. There's a barrel monster. That's the best. Joint. I think that's the best sound bombing. That is there's the best a, sound bombing. There's a dilated peoples with Tash joint 
Is that's that punk? crazy? No, that's not the one Body Rock, is it? Mm-hmm. Is that the one Body Rock? No, that's Lyricist Lounge. Lyricist Lounge had Body Rock. Lyricist Lounge was a double <laughs> disc. That's, that's that yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, most on it. Okay. Yeah, so. Sound um, bombing. No, sorry. Yeah. Body Rock was. Um, uh, Tip was on it too, wasn't it? ABS, I bust down, facility. T R A C T is the MC. This is LL inside the place to be. Q Tip, are you ready to rock the mic? Uh. Mace Love, are you ready? Something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, Body Rock, that was on Lyrics' Lounge. But anyway, I got up on his stuff. And ever since then, I was like, yo, I really like this this dude's flow. Uh, and I'm sure you know why. We'll probably get into why soon. But I don't know why. We'll talk, we'll talk about it then. All right. Well, so the reason I think that I kind of gravitated towards his style is that my style... At least from the from the inside looking in. Inside. Cry to <laughs> man on the inside. On the inside. Okay. And you can tell me. From the inside looking in, our styles are very complimentary. Okay. That's what I would say. That's one thing I forgot about. Oh, what's up? The mic's on the bottom. That's why that's why oh, I use the thing. Oh we gotta let all right, okay. cool. we'll do it like that. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they might still be able to hear us though. Yeah, y'all y'all anybody in there. Y'all y'all let us know. I could check um, it though on my phone. But I believe our styles are very complimentary. Mm-hmm. And at this time, I'm listening to... these are. This is one of three albums that I could probably listen to, say, once every other week or something like that. I love this album. And we'll get to the tracks later. Yeah. But um, this album, like Water for Chocolate and Things Fall Apart, those three albums for me okay. kind of define the, the what I really loved at that time for him. At that time, I have all three... Not, see, Black on Both Sides is weird, weirdly enough. The first thing that did it for me was Black Star. Yeah. Things see, Fall Apart. Yeah, Black Star, of course. We within, three, within three years. Black Star was 98. 99 was Things Fall Apart, maybe. Maybe that was 90, yeah. 92. Or Things Fall Apart might have been 2000. Nah, I can't it's remember. 90, it's 90. I know it's all it's in those three years. Yeah. yeah. Time it's was like 98, 99, 2000. Same, yeah, same. Like that. Yeah. Those yeah. Are good, that was a year where hip hop was definitely changing for yeah. the worst. From, from what it was, yeah. it looked like it was the worst. But looking yeah. back at it, it was yeah, just. Yeah, it's too bad. It wasn't too bad. It just was kind of silly. Looking yeah. back on it, that music didn't make it past that time, that era. Yeah. But most, that music, like listening to Black on Both Sides, spoilers, it, um, listen to it again. It's like an album I don't need to listen to anymore. Yeah, because I've heard it so I've, many I've times. I've heard it so many times. You know, if it was a tape, hey. it would have popped yeah, years ago. I've, and I would have had to buy it like 10 times. Yeah, I've bought album, the CD that I can remember. I've bought this CD three times. Yeah, I still have the first. I have my original um, CD because I keep my stuff. You know, well, because I played it so much, it got scratched. I didn't. And then another well, one I think I, got dropped. I told you what my, my then, technique was, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rip that stuff, man. See, I wasn't doing it. You put that drum right back in the, in the jewel case. You keep it there, like, for keepsake, you know what I mean? See, I wasn't doing it. See, I was like, nah, we not rocking this joint. We ain't taking this out the house. No. So you had that, then Black Star drops. Okay. And then I was like, oh, because, like, since I had not seen his face before then, oh. I didn't know it was the same guy. And oh. then when Black when Black Star dropped, I hit my boy up, Chris, and you know Chris. Yes. I hit my boy up, Chris. I was like, yo, son, you got, like, yo, turn on BET. And <laughs> so at the time, that was, you know, that was, that it just stuck out. And I was like, oh, this guy is most deaf, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So, so, like, so many things clicked for me at that one time. That's right. So many things clicked at me, and I was like, yo, this cat is killing it. Like, from the content, to the rhyme style, to the delivery, all of that charisma, he's got it. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, I love this cat's music. So, Definition does well. And then we hear that Quali is going away to make an album with... uh, High Tech. High Tech. And he's going... um, He, meaning most, is going to... Or Yasin is going to make... Uh, black on both sides. Um, shout out to TJ. What up? What up? TJ in the chat. Um, so, what up? What up? We get black on both sides, and the first the first single is Miss Fat Booty. Yes. Which and I'll go through the track listing later. But the 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 sample, I'm like, oh, this is a dope sample. And when I saw the name of the song, I was like, oh man, I hope he ain't. I hope he ain't going that way. But that, but that was a thing back then. Remember, that was a thing. Yeah. Like, you, you would see, like, singles, you're like, wait, what? Yeah. And then the album, you're like a regular hip hop. So yeah. you're like, ah, come on now. But then when you hear the song, you're nah, like, oh, song. okay, song. I get it. It's a dope He's song. telling the story. He tells the story. Yeah, he he tells the story about how he was trying to be fly. He kind of got slide, sneak dissed, 
and then kind of worked it out, and then old girl still leaves him. So, so yeah. It's and, a, but then know, he finds her in the strip club. Yeah, yeah. He was a stripper. So, so it's like it's an interesting look at his life as a, I guess, mm. like a hip hop, you know, as a luminary. If on you, mission is on here too. Oh, at the yeah, end of the on joint, mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Going yeah, back on to mission. Mission. And there's a couple conversations we had already before. Yeah, him. on mission. That's another one. The nerdy dude is from uh, The Boys. That's why I've seen his face recently. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, um, the album drops. And this album, I'm going to say it, spoilers, this album is classic. But I put it in. And from second one to the end of the album, this is another example of a musical thought inside of a project. This is... Similar to One Day It'll All Make Sense, yeah. this is a perfect example of a snapshot of this man's life and his uh, mentality at this time. Yes, I, I would say that. And I am, as I listen back to this album, I am still impressed. It's a shame that some stuff is still relevant. Um, it's a shame that some stuff has come to more prominence, a.k.a. the climate issue. You know what I'm saying? With the water. New World but, Water. Yeah, that's yeah, a very, but, good, very, very good song. It's but Flint, Michigan. Yeah, that's a Flint, Michigan yeah, anthem right yeah, there. Yeah, it was like... And it's, New World Water. Wow. This album is like meeting up with an old friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was... I, I, I still love it. Hearing an album, I haven't heard an album probably in a couple of years. For real, for real. But I don't need... It's like this person, like I was saying before, at the point where like I don't need to hear it anymore because I, I can literally recite it. Verbatim. Yeah, I can almost recite Either every whole beat, album every single thing about it. I've only learned like one little thing today that I forgot about, yeah. which was on Mister. You know, we should be able to say it though. I'm gonna do the Chappelle. You, you see, it is, Chappelle? The, it is the name of the song. It, it is, is the, the name of the song for for this episode. The name of the song. The name of the song is Mister Nigga. Yeah. So, um, oh, I, I, Keith Collins says the first time he heard Most Def was on a skateboard video game called Thrasher. Wow. Wow, you took that back, and I know what you're talking about. What song was on there? I don't know what song was on there, but I remember the game. Mm. Wow, because I used to play like Tony Hawk Pro Skater and stuff like that all the time. Um, like, I, all right, straight up, this is how nerdy I was with games back then. On a VHS tape, I recorded myself scoring three million points on a run in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. <laughs> That's how nerdy I was. Ner- yeah, nerd <laughs> soul. There it is, right like, there. Because I was like. Nerdy I remember being soul. in my neighborhood and there was this kid that scored a million points and I was like, that's possible? So then I was like, I gotta beat it. And, and that, but remember back in the day, that's how it was. Like your that, neighborhood that's, was well, like, it's, you know, I'm like, for me, it was an arcade. You go to arcade, you see well, my yeah. score. Yeah. You, you just know how the initials. You didn't yeah. know who it was. Yeah. NBA Jam, <laughs> NBA Mortal Kombat, yeah. Street Fighter. You see yeah. my initials, like, who's that? Like, who that? And that person come in and put the initials in you. Oh, that's the person, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, shit. So yeah, you, would, you that was like, a thing. We were on the I bus. wish that was still a thing, like a leaderboard, like yeah. a scoreboard. Like, I mean, some games still have it, though. Especially online, you should be able to do that. Some games still have it, though. Like, I think Mario Kart, the new game, has some kind of scoreboard. Or whatever, but I haven't I, played it though. Because I remember this kid at the bus stop saying he scored a billion points, and I was like, "Nah, son, I gotta, I, I, I play this game every day. I can kill it." And I did a run. It was like three and you, million. And you points put on the, and you recorded on the tape. And I recorded it on VHS tape. <laughs> I think me and my brother had some because I had to have proof, some yo. Sonic. Something on tape. We definitely had recorded something. I had to Mortal Kombat or something on tape. <laughs> I gotta find those tapes, yo. Oh, man. So, anyway. That's what you did back then. That's what you did. So, I right, So, the album comes out. I love the whole thing. And there's some stuff that I sort of forgot about, which was, like, the rock and roll joint. I forgot him being kind of at the beginning of the Afro-punk wave. Mm, yeah, I forgot about that because he extended that to the next album. I yes, forgot about he did. that. Part. Yeah, he did extend With that. Black Jack Johnson. Black Jack Ooh, Johnson. Yeah. Knox. Yeah, nah. That's, the, 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 new Danger. Black Jack Johnson, new New N-Y-C. Danger has okay. R-O-C-K. I'm gonna say this right now. New Danger might sound really good right now. You know Because of the what? messaging, yeah, and everything like that album. New Danger might be. was a way ahead of its time. I think I gotta go back. It's and like check new it's like Electric Circus. People are like, wait, what? Cause when New Danger came out, I was I was so ready for it. But you're right, a lot of people weren't. Yeah, they didn't like it. I don't because know. Because I, I, re- I remember a lot of people did not like New Danger. That you had, that um that um Ooh. baby slow down, just take your time. Yeah. Me and you gonna be here for a while, okay? That yeah. fire, son. I don't care. Man. But no, that Marvin, that sample the Marvin. Oh. 
this joint, there's what? no... That's, that's a groove joint. That's a two-step yeah, right there. So, that's a take, right, take, so take, that's that, take your girl out to the, to so the dance. Now you know that, what I mean? Now that you... I know how you feel. All right. Ah. So, album starts out, Fear Not of Man. I mean, Fear Not... Uh, yeah, Fear Not of Man. Yeah. Dope intro. Dope intro. And we and you... Reference all the time. Yeah. Like, what's going on with hip hop? Is hip hop smoked out? Yeah, we're gonna be smoked, gonna be smoked, out. Be smoked out. And wait, hip hop is now lyrics, drugged out? Well, that's what it is. The lyrics <laughs> are, like. you know, angels hold the pen, keep a record in time. There's, you know, there's so many, there's so many things about this opening that are tribal, that connect to the motherland while still being hip hop, while being message heavy, Uh-oh. while being double. Oh, the sound is distorted? <laughs> no! No, not on this episode! No! No! Not... Yo, hold up. We're still live, technically, somewhere. Yeah, we're still... Recording we're live from, from somewhere. somewhere. Live. <laughs> live. Mercy. All right, these are the Follow me now. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. So roll, so roll, roll, hip-hop. All right, let's... All right, wow. okay. All right, so... Um, Fear Not A Man... Blazing track, hip hop. It sets it like we already set the tone, but then like he continues to press the gas on this song, mm. like the, just the just the power of it. Like dun 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 dun, dun is is just like and then being able to bridge stuff like. One for the treble, two for the time. Come on, y'all, let's rock this. Yeah, yeah, take, yeah. Being able it was to take very that. hip. I mean, the song's called hip hop, yeah. but it's very yeah. Hip-hop. But being able to take that and then bridge it with stuff like "Speeches My Hammer," you know, like you know, it, it just like bang the word, let it shake and let it fall, like that type of stuff. You know, my restlessness is my nemesis. It's hard to really chill and sit still like that. That kind of stuff is like, oh, this guy is like really trying. He's like putting in his time. He's not punching your clock, like you said. Yes. And it's it's just incredible, man. So we get Love, which is a dope track. L-O-V-E and nice, I-V say Love. Yeah. L-O-V-E to M-C. Yeah, Love. The way... The M-O-S-D-E-F on that lead. Check it out, y'all. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, yeah. Check it out, out, y'all. Check it out. Yeah. And, like, the way the sample is flipped, I like. The way he... Cu- the, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I just realized something. What's up? That's kind of where I got the, the, the idea for the hook, if you think about it. Oh. For, for, for our joint. Yeah. What you got? Live, uh, y'all. Okay. What you All right, got? Cool. Live, y'all. This, 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 so, yeah, it's the same vein. It's the same idea. And it's a very, it's just, it's a very. Space bridge. It's a very emotional while still being a very, like, like you know, hoppy track. You know, yeah. like. Um, then you go into Miss Fat Booty, which we already kind of covered, which is an interesting story about, like, he could have played it like, I'm so fly. And he was like, no. <laughs> Sometimes people be like, <laughs> people ain't checking for me neither. <laughs> so that was interesting, the way he played that. Um, Speed Law is, we get into another message. Well, I, maybe I like second message of the album. Yeah. Where uh, he like really takes time to be like, yo, man, look. Like, yo, ease up. Like, you doing this, you doing that. It's like, uh, um... Permanent like tattoos and birthmarks, permanent uh, uh, permanent burn marks. Um, like it, it's man, it's tow truck got my tape in the deck. Like it's just there's so many metaphors in this song, and interesting and same for uh, New World Water, yeah. where it just this thing just shines, and like we're at we're at number five, and this is a s- s- pretty long album. Is it? What time? What time? What time? It doesn't well, seem that long. Yeah, well, it doesn't seem maybe long. Maybe because it's, it's just, I've heard it so many times. It's just yeah, it doesn't it. seem long, but this album does have some time on it, but in a good way, I'd say. You know what I'm saying? Like in a in a way where you don't. In a way where you don't feel the time, but it is like you got 17 tracks. Well, a lot of a lot of those first songs don't stop. There's no fade yeah, out. Yeah, there's so no jump, to jump, yeah, jump. Like, uh, I uh, think. Uh, um. No, even to through through God, even just when we say yeah, maybe at maybe the, after um, God. No, um, 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 no, when we say because it goes um, God goes right into when we say yeah, it does. So when um, we say is a fade out. It's the first fade yeah. out of the album. Yeah. Now, uh, so that makes it feel like it's quicker than it actually true. is. And we got uh, Miss Fat Booty. That's that's dope. So that ends, and you're like, 
speed law, cool. We get message. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, we got our first feature. Yes, Busta. Busta. Rhyme. And which is a, which is a which is an interesting feature. First off, two of my and, top ten rappers in the same song. Yeah, it just it just was interesting. Like, oh, Busta Rhymes on his album because like it doesn't yeah. it doesn't in your mind it doesn't seem there is a slight correlation, kind of slight. Yeah, of like really, kind of like, like the charisma and the energy. Well, I'm just like that more of like slight not even correlation. It's more of a slight. Uh, there's there's a what do you call it? Is they're connected in a slight yeah. way because you have Tribe De La. Buses with Dela, yeah, and Dilla, tri- yeah, and, and, and then you Dilla. got most, most, uh, most Dela, Dilla, yeah. It's so it's, it's, like, it's a weird like mixture there. They're they're all in the same kind of community, yeah, yeah, in a way, kind of. But Bus yeah. is like, it's this is what ninety nine. So Bus is at the Bus is definitely so yeah. getting a most that most of getting a verse for his album. Like how did that happen? And it's not even a verse. Like they, oh no, they, 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 they they're actually times. writing together on the song. Yes, and it sounds so good, like. I remember it's seeing like double, it's like the way to go back for like double trouble like most and yeah and black thought like, like that's why like that's why that's why it's a, it's a lot that's a lost art it's yeah, degree, the, like, tra- the, the line trading like, and, and for lost art because they don't do it anymore not because yeah. no one's doing it just yeah. these people that we wanted to do it don't ain't do it doing it no more, more. yeah they just do the one you know little version punch out punch clock keep moving yeah like Wu Tang so, don't even do that no more when last time you heard Wu Tang? When last time you heard Ghost and Ray Trey verse back and forth? It's been a minute. Been a minute. Because they are. Oh. Because they are Corey. <laughs> oh, don't no don't no. Uh uh-uh. uh. We ain't going there. All right. It's Raekwon and Ghostface. It's they, Corey and Ghost because Ghost is back actually for a little bit. We gotta we gotta harness this. We gotta harness this this power right now. This Ghost power. And the continue, Ghost power. We have to continue it on so it can continue oh, on boy. and flourish to be the Ghostface that we all know. Anyway, <laughs> then we got. Uh, oh, and Ghostface uh, is on the remix of Miss Fat Booty. So so. Segway. Oh yeah. Segway. Yo, Boom. You see that right there? I oh, forgot oh, about oh. that. You're you right. See that. So then one of the funniest song, one of the funnier songs in this album, got. Yes. <laughs> Produced by Ali Sham, she him, she him. Yo, man. Tribe Connection right there. Boop. Come Tribe. on now. I, what you expect? Got a month's paycheck dangling around your neck. <laughs> it's like, but it's true. It's like, it's one of these things the where it's like, you flash, hardy you get flashed on. True. And it's like, yo, I'm from Brooklyn. Certain you just, you just don't, don't do. Know. Like, what? How posting were you all, all alone? alone. How posting were you far from home? home. Now this just seems to be clear common, common sense. sense, but most of c- cats broken off shit confidence. Like, uh, man, picture them tell me run that. Yeah, acting invincible, it's just insensible. It's nineteen ninety nine and certain Ooh. individuals. <laughs> so I find getting robbed off principle. Yo, five star classic. Dip, flash, flashing on your revenue. You know Yo, that was fun. It's funny, and you see cats doing it now. They'll pull out like a brick of money, and it's just like, bro, it's like, bro, come on, man. This is how you get come got. On. Yeah, it's like, come on. So, a girl from Pink House said, I like you a lot. God. God. This is how you get God. Oh, and the man. thing is, okay, so this, the hook, the don't get me. So, yeah, there was, there's, been a, there's been a debate on that, too. You All never right. even knew this. No. But there's a debate on what he, what he, see, he can say, don't get mad or don't get me. Oh. Oh, see, I thought it was saying, don't get mad. Don't get mad. This is so unfair. But think about it. saying, don't get mad either, because he's trying to tell you, like, don't get mad yeah, if you get robbed. True. If you get got, don't get mad. Yeah. So don't get mad. Don't get uh, mad. Don't get, 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 get <laughs> mad. Like, it could be. Please. It's not as bad, no. as, the, it's not as, bad as the tribe. You know? Oh, yeah. It's not as bad as that. It's, it's a slight. Slight, um, slight no. differences of, of opinion on that, of that line. But yeah, don't, uh, don't track. Then we get Umi Says, mm-hmm. Umi which, says. which slows down the pace of the album. Yes. And is a beautiful song. Very beautiful song. And then when... Uh, and this is his first singing song, too. Yes. He's singing And this song. is... Um, I think this was in the source when I was still reading the source like every month. Like, was in... Can you believe it? What, like what, the source was worth getting I mean, every this, single this month. This source magazine behind your head. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. But I'm just saying there was one time when like the source... Was the source like yeah? You know, when I bought those magazines, that's when it was. This is where I read. I believe that either in this track or May December, I can't remember, or maybe both of them. He played all the instruments in the song. 
Um, I can't remember which one. Well, he played uh, most of the instruments on both songs. Oh, okay, I okay. I know so, he had Dave, uh, Dave Kennedy, I think, was the person who I think helped him on both songs. Oh, okay, okay. But on the last song, May, December, uh, Weldon Irv, Irvine was on that song before he okay. passed. Oh, okay, okay. So he, was on the, he actually played on the May, December. Right. And that's a beautiful song, too. Yes. So Umi says, beautiful song, kind of changes the tone of the album. But, but it's like mid- but it's, it's stretches the, and still the and shows midway, the fullness of this. It's guy. the midway mark of the album. Yeah, it, it is. It's yeah. the midway point. Um, but after that, it, it get, there's more messages. Newer water, rock, rock and yep. roll. Uh, the joint with Kwali, climb, da da da. Mm-hmm. Yep. Brooklyn habitat, Mr. Nigga, mathematics, yep. and May December. Yep. So, New World water, <laughs> extremely relevant now. Psychological because beat. because now it's not only Flint, but it's like two or three other cities that, that are going cool, through this now. Fresh and drink, and yeah. And that so, you said North Jersey somewhere. North um, Jersey is going it's through that. Jersey, uh, Flint's going through it. Jersey's come, going through it. I want to say somewhere in Maryland is going through it too. But this song is extremely relevant now, and I remember when it first came out, and people. Like, I remember talking to some people in school about it, about how, like, amazing this album was. Better than anything that had dropped that year. I was like, this is the album of the year. And, like, people were just not hearing me because, I mean, I live in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, Virginia. Like, they, look, Cadillacs, Cadillac music. And and most Def was not Cadillac music. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they weren't trying to hear it at all. But... This is a joint that even some people would listen to and be like, yeah, you know, it's, it's clever. I like how he's throwing. I'm like, okay, okay. I, I can at least throw. And, and, you know, make the tide rise high, come in, land, and make your house go by. You know, fools don't upset the old man river. Made them carry slave ships and fed them dead niggas. Wow. Yeah, Moses going. He went, he, I wow. mean, he put his all into this joint. Man. We got we got Markeith in the building. We, we, Markeith, we got our what first up? we got our first guest in the house. Markeith, what, 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 what up? What's happening, man? So um, then we move on to rock and roll. Like I said, he was kind of at the beginning of this wave. Yeah. And I think back then, I thought the song didn't really fit. But now that I listen to it, I'm like, you know what? I see where this is going. It, it was weird back then. I was like. You know what? Why didn't he just do a separate EP for songs like this? I was like, I was like, this one doesn't really fit for me. Like, I didn't hate the song, but I just felt like it messed up the course of the album. But now, listening to the kind of like the the message and kind of like the, I guess anti to anti traditional anti establishment kind of like punk nature of New World Water going into this, yeah, it kind of makes more sense now. Yeah. Like, no, no, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah, most of um, yeah, because me for me like at the, at the time, rock and roll sometimes got some skips. Yeah, same for me. Back in it, because especially when it got to the rock part, I was like, nah, we get this out of here. Yeah, it's like because it's like, back, that's how it was back then. Now this is twenty years ago. Now yeah. twenty years later, I'm like, this song it works. Yeah, I, it I under- makes sense. I understand it because back then, you know, I was what fourteen years old when I heard this album. Yeah, I was. I was like sixteen. I didn't, you didn't know no better. You know what I mean? You're just like ah, you like you like what you like, and you like I yeah. like rock, so I ain't, I ain't trying to listen to this. So back in the but December. then what about two years later, one year later, three years later, whenever New Danger dropped, then I was like I'm on it. You know what I mean? No, I don't think I ever revisited like in that kind of way. But I yeah. never thought about the two being even correlated whatsoever. True. I just thought New Danger had a I like New Danger. Yeah. Um. Oh, should I, oh, we got Alexi in the building. What up, Alexi? Oh, Alexi, what up? What up? What up? What up? Uh, so we got to know that, and this is something that we kind of all expected. There would be a quality feature on this album. Yes, that kind it of, would be weird if it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it would be like, yo, there's no quality on this joint, and it's not a bad quality feature. It's it's before he got bad, like just, maybe like a couple years before he got bad. Oh man, like 2001, 2002 quality, nah, <laughs> we off that. Uh, yeah, Beautiful so struggle controller. quality. Oof. Oof, that was a beautiful struggle, right? It was a struggle. Yeah, I don't think it was beautiful, though. It was probably just a struggle. Roam the frontier like a buffalo soldier. you know. And he was... didn't have the Kuali voice, either. He just was a regular Kuali at this time. <laughs> he didn't get to that BKMC, you know. Yeah. It's... Oh, you know boy. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah I oh, know. Boy. But, yes, so this song... Yeah, the blacksmith. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't like that yet. He yeah. was smoother. Very yeah, smoother and... with his voice. 
you know, this is another this is another very powerful track that just like the beat, the drums come through. Yeah, it's on like, Ayatollah again, like who do it first? The, oh, the, the guy who did Ma- uh, Miss Fat Booty, same, yeah, same yeah. producer. So um, these actually for me, like I'll give you a hundred. I give you maybe three beats that he actually did. I actually do like two of them on his album. The other <laughs> one is the My Life Joint. Oh, okay, okay. Fire and um, yeah. Styles P. That's My life it. Is all I have. That's the list. Wow. He, but he got three bangers though. So I, hey, he yeah, got, he got more bangers. bangers than me. So yeah. So um, that's at least out there. I mean, yeah. Because uh, you got you played some bangers for me today. Woo. Ain't on the radio though. Well, yeah, it's true. I mean, the radio is. I mean, what is the radio? Ain't on now? TV though. I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> Ain't on TV though. Ain't nobody in there liking my stuff, no. So what we were doing? People are liking your stuff on the internet. They ain't, ain't paying them a million money for it. I need some cheddar, um, cheddar cheese. Then we get a song <laughs> with the with one of the most uh, Here elusive. You Here you go with this again. See, I knew he was gonna do that. One of the most elusive. Thank you, Alexi. She said it's dope. I know. Thank yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the most elusive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> elusive background singers or, or singers or feature singers in history. In your Miss, in your head. Yo, I've seen her maybe once I in my whole life. I she's on the she's quali- been on mad she's tracks. She's on the Quali album. There's a picture of what she looks like. Man, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, Climb is a beautiful song. La, da, da. Beautiful song. Da, 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 da. Man. Da, 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 da. And it's like it's sad while still being like soothing. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it's, I Taleb and Most was for me back in two thousand one when I was playing football uh, in high school. Okay. Word, 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 word up. What up? What up? Um, then you got Brooklyn, which is a beautiful way that he set that up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. The you know going through the three beats that yeah, are like yeah, kind of yeah. classic Brooklyn dude, beats, dude, and then talking dude, about dude. his life in Brooklyn and talking yeah. about the city. He Some really, people, nah, nah, yeah, nah, it's nah, it's just a beautiful way to kind of represent your city and, and throw some love on your city and, and your surroundings. And I love it. Habitat, oh. same kind of thing, you know, um, same kind of attitude, and still beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Ain't ain't where you're from. It's where you're at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like you know, he's like, yo, I love this place, but don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love that. Like Habitat, it's it's a great pairing of those two songs back to back. Yeah. And then one of our favorite songs. <laughs> yeah, because it's actually a it's a slight like part two to um off the tribe album. Um, you know the um, what's that song? You know what I'm talking about? Where he says where she tips on his tip, his tip saying, it. "Wow, you don't forgot too." Okay, the next, all right. What song? I'm trying to remember the song. Was it Love Album? It's off of um, Midnight Marauders. Midnight Marauders. But maybe it may be low in theory. Um, with the Red Clay sample, Freddie Freddie Hubbard. Oh man, do 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 brown, boom 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 brown, boom boom brown. Oh, suck it, Thank you. That's as a continuation of that. Oh, it, oh, all right. You never put okay. that, you never put that together. No, because he said he said the same thing he says on Sucker. So I never wow never, never connected those. So thank you for thank you for giving me. I never connected those two, <laughs> but I love this song. Yeah, this song, boy. <laughs> yeah, because because I live this song. We all live this song. That are like we that we are that, 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 that are black. <laughs> yeah, you know if, if you black, you live in this song, and man. It, but take your pick, any any line. Yeah, any, any I, I, but I was I was saying to you earlier today as as I listened to it, one thing I discovered is that his second verse where he's talking about the world view of black people. Uh huh. I'm like he what he's talked about is was kind of a weird foreshadowing to his whole situation in South Africa, being like treated like he's yeah, a treated fifth like fifth class yeah. citizen, not even yeah, not even second class, yeah. fifth class. And, and, and he was like, stuck um, out there for years with yeah. his family. Yeah, he was stuck out there. He couldn't leave. Couldn't leave. Was, it was. Uh, what do you mean I can't leave? What? Is I? Uh, Where are you from here? Go overseas, and I get overseas. That's what happened. London Heathrow. Me and my people. They think that illegal is a synonym for Negro. Uh, what is it? Far away places. Customs agents flagrant. They think that dark faces smuggle weight in their cases. Uh. Uh. Bags inspected. Now we arrested. Attempted directed the contents of our intestines. This dude is out rapping people this year. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but this song is really is a, has a is a really 
poignant, pivotal song on this album, though. Yeah. Um, and it's a good... Yeah, because I'm trying to think if anyone's ever... Had, and, like, like, and it's funny because it has a very, like, vibe, like a laid-back most, vibe. Most def- I think he did it on every album from my memory. Like, at least every album where he had... He had, like, he had, like, um, the Rape Over. Yeah. On, and then he had the other one, the Crime and Medicine from... Uh, yeah. The, uh, the True Magic album. Yeah. The Over the... Um, when the MC's pain... The yeah, yeah. Extra. So he had songs where it's always, like, a message. Like, this is... Clearly, this is going to be a How message. How did the Crime and Medicine go? All right. Um, um, I've never been so bored. Um... What is it? How's it go? Uh, I don't remember how it's going to go, though. Bullets burn through the candy on the driver's side door. Oh, man. I don't remember that joint. I don't remember how it goes. Though. Long investigations and no firm leads. <sighs> I can't remember how that joint goes, but Crime and Medicine, that's another joint that... And Rape Over is a good one, too. Like, yeah. Like, you know, and then the joint that was never kind of fully released was oh, Beef. Oh, Beef, verse, yeah, Beef. Yeah, his beef, verse yeah, on, beef, on beef. beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef is not what 50 said the job. Beef was when grown yeah. folks can't find jobs. Yeah, it's like, man, it's like... Some good job called always, Beef. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's, man... It, killing it. Killing it in this song, Mr. Nigga. And I'm like, yo. It should not, like... It's just, it's just dope. It's like this song is dope in like a laid back way. But then the message is like, wow. Like you really flipped it. Like you took this sample where it's like it's like a fun loving sample. Yeah, I believe I believe that's the Weldon <laughs> Irvine sample actually. That's I think that's a Weldon Ir- Irvine sample. Oh man, that's what it was sampled. Who be riding up in the high rise elevator? All the tenants who be praying he ain't the new neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Excuse me. You do can... you work here? <laughs> you can laugh and criticize Michael Jackson if you wanna. Woody Allen molested and married his stepdaughter. Same press kicking dirt on Michael's name show Woody and Soon Yi at the playoff game. Skill Scott Heron. I'm, I'm oh, okay, okay. Legend in his own mind. So, uh, what's your best song off the Black Star? Off the Black Star album? Black Star album? Oh, wow. Oh, that's easy for me. Res- okay. Respiration. Bing, bloom, bloom. As soon as I hear that guitar, yeah. it's over. Yeah. Bing, bloom, bloom, bloom. You know what? Ugh. That video? Oh, bloom, 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 bloom. Man, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah, uh, because I've, I've told you the story before. I wrote a, I wrote a whole paper on respiration. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, for me. Yeah. I, I think that's maybe my one of my favorite high tech beats too. Like that's like yeah. A, that beat is just lovely. Yeah, I wrote I wrote a paper to that for that song. Yeah, and I was like, this, like oh, it's just us to me. It's, it's I like music that has dynamic to it. And then and then the remix with with Black Thought. Oh yeah, you talking about the you talking about the um, the, the pre P Rock remix? Yes. The high the fine high remix or whatever. Yeah, I have yes, that behind you. It's still behind because it's, because it's literally behind I wrote because I told you there. I wrote that paper because there was this kid in class like hip hop is nothing but trash and talking about at that own, time I can see own. what he's saying. Yeah, I mean he had a point, but I was like, <laughs> no, it's hip hop still. still has merit, and I wrote a paper. A full, I, I wrote, it was like eight pages. I wrote, like I was serious. I was like, no, hip hop still has merit. Hip hop can still change minds. Hip hop can still be about the people. Hip hop can still be a a agent for change for people individually, for people socially, for governmental and political and protest wise change. And I wrote that joint. And even my teacher was like, all right. No, because when I laid the lyrics out, where like you can read them, yeah. she was like, "This is nice. This is very interesting." Blah blah blah. Hip hop, <laughs> hip hop should. Be, I mean, hip hop is. I mean, it's starting to be. It's becoming way more thing now. But like, uh, yeah, in in terms of uh, academia, yeah, like, it's become more. Like I've had, I had a hip hop class in my when I was at college, and that's many many years ago. <laughs> so, um, there was, and there was multiple classes, not just one hip hop. So there, oh. so hip hop. Classes and being study of hip hop, I feel needs to be done. Oh, I'm gonna put this out there. I'm just gonna put that in the ether. I'm gonna put okay. that as an atmosphere. All right, what you got? There needs to be a Dilla class. Man, who and would I, teach it? And I can teach it, actually. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, look. Yo, hey, look. It ain't nothing for us. It ain't nothing for us to reach out. This, <laughs> how many schools we got here? Here, uh, LA. All right, we got USC. We got UCLA. We got Santa Monica College. We got LA College. 
I we can got teach four. You. We got at least four. And it's not. A, and it's not even about. It's not even a production class. You need to know nothing about. No, production. it's it's about the, can, it's about the life it's philosophy. The, the, the philosophy of just the, from the music. I don't know the man. Never met him before. <laughs> just from from what I'm hearing, the philosophy of this man's career. Mm. Mm. I got you. Okay. All right. All right. Um. So then we go into another dope song, mathematics. Mm. Primo man. joint. That's when everybody had that parrot. Primo joint. Remember those Man. days? Remember those days where everyone had the Primo joint? Yeah, that's Even true. Com- Common had a Primo joint. That's right yeah, there. and that was, woo, that's a banger. Six woo, cents? Woo, six cents is a banger. But that was a thing. This new math is whipping motherfuckers' ass. You want to learn how to rhyme, you better learn how to add this math. Woo! Come on, man! Yeah, it's a good song. Great good song. Man, when he's talking about the white unemployment rate is nearly more than triple for black. So frontliners got their gun in your back. Bubbling crack. This is... Man, <sighs> the mighty most deaf. Simple mathematics. This I'll go see the, in the building. What he up, threw Algo? the gauntlet down on this album Salute. in some. He threw the gauntlet down in this album on he, some. He like made I it. am, I am. I'm not gonna say I'm the best rapper. I'm just gonna be it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's I'm a, just gonna be it in this. I moment. was just watching something yesterday. That reminded me, like, um, this is this is a Game of Thrones <laughs> reference. You never seen it, but okay, Game of Thrones reference. When Joffrey, everyone's favorite king, not everyone's favorite king. everybody hates Joffrey. Yeah. When Joffrey's like, "I am the king," and then his, and then his grandfather, um, Saddam Nunsi, Nunsi from uh, Ooh, that's, that's sweet that's, brother Nunsi. Yeah, sweet, sweet brother Nunsi. He was like, <laughs> anyone who has to say they're the king is no king. Mm. So anyone who has to say they're the best is not the best. Mm. You can just 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 do what you do, man. Moses just did what he did. Yo, see that analogy? See, I just. How that energy, that energy. And then, and then at the end of the album, we get May December, which is a beautiful send off. Yeah, this album is. I wonder if that's man, like, wait, wait. When does when does album drop? What uh, month? What month did it drop? October. October. Uh, hmm. This album was. This album was. Do you know the Do you know the uh, the meaning behind May December? Nah. I know. This, this, I, know I know his birthday's in December. I just know this album is untouchable. Six, seven months apart. Come to think, maybe that's the time he took to, to make the album. Maybe. But then it drops in October, like eight months later. Yeah, because back then they had to do all Yeah, the they had to do the everything. press run. So he was doing his album in 98 then. 98, yeah. Yeah, 90, yeah it had to be. And the end of 1998 is when he finished it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to speculate. But if anyone knows what May, December actually means... I know yeah. it's two months, but it's like, and it's also a hyphen, which means it's from May to December. Yeah, this this album is just this album is just. The fresh. Mathematics beat was fire. Made me want to write some some bars. Where Marquis? Where, where, where? Yeah, yeah. This was up. This was up. Dun 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 dun. This joint is just. It's, it's beautiful. It, so. Uh, happy birthday! Happy twentieth! Happy twentieth! Happy twentieth to, to the mighty most deaths, black on both sides. Shouts to Yasin Bay. And even Still, the title itself is, you know, yeah, saying black on both sides. I mean, like, yeah, you know, and that's just one side. We be black yeah. on the inside too. Yeah, it's like you may see it here, but I'm inside too. Yeah, black. It, it's that album. It's a statement. It's a statement. Yeah, his albums have always been statements. Yeah, the new danger. You know, black on both sides, new danger. What was it? Was true, true magic, magic then? Ecstatic. Yeah, ecstatic. So ecstatic has some joints on the belly. Man, ecstatic. Woo! When you made me go back through it, I was like, I forgot. We did it for the show last year, right? Yeah, and I was like, yeah. I forgot about a lot of these. Yeah, don't sleep on that. Don't Man. sleep on that at, at, at auditorium joint either. Don't do that. Ooh. Oh, speaking of Slick Rick, I'm gonna right. another second. Okay. Um. Uh, I just watched the rare footage of Biggie doing the hypnotized hook. Like, mm. I guess a reference. And it reminds me of Slick Rick. Think about the wow. hook. Wow. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Yeah, so yeah. The world just hypnotized me. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, um, that's from, um, and on and on and on. Just keep going. It was around mm-hmm. before my mother's born. That's from, um, Lottie Daddy. Wow. I never okay. realized that. Okay, okay. Baby, baby, can't you see? Come on, your words just hit the me. I didn't, I actually didn't realize that's a lolly dotty. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Please. <laughs> so he's like, I'm like, yeah, why True. did I, I didn't put that together? But Biggie was a student of the game. Yeah, like, Biggie Beth was yeah. He's a student of the game. Yeah, that's a that's man. And they're that, both from Brooklyn. That's a that's another collab I would have loved to mm, see. Biggie and Most. Mm. That would have been an interesting, an interesting mm, but a very good. nice collab. I think would have been like, um, hmm. I think it would have been. Cause that could have been a real like, cool, like a Biggie Jay Z kind, of like when they did back and forth with uh. Oh yeah, with um, um, Brooklyn's Finest. Brooklyn's Finest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that would have been a beautiful thing. And so it, 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 Brooklyn's Finest Part Two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't like I don't like Part Two. You know what Part Two is. But with that said, they're gonna you know, call it the Finest in Brooklyn. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of spice it up. Oh know? boy. Add a little little spice on it. But with that said, we got. We, you know, we we said happy birthday. We got a little a little fun to have, just a little fun to have with the folks that's watching. Oh and yeah, that, that email you sent me. Why you be sending me emails, man? Because sometimes stuff like this flows around, and it's just fun to play these games. You want to feel like so, Marquis? When last time you listened to New Danger? Let's do it again. Yeah, Let's, like right now. Yeah, put it on. So I uh, on. don't sleep on it. <laughs> uh, so you gotta move the phone to the side, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Move, so, move, move. No, no, no. Uh, Open the album, but just move it. I yeah, I got, I got you. So anyway, we got a, uh, you know, this stuff flows around every now and then. You know, Facebook, Instagram, who came Twitter, up with stuff this like though? that. And someone said, "Who had the best debut album?" And they put these albums together. This is nine albums in all. So, for you guys watching, for you guys watching, uh, Big Pun, Capital Punishment, uh, Eric B. L. Rakim, Paid in Full, Snoop's Doggy Style, Jay Z, Reasonable Doubt. Enter the Wu-Tang from Wu-Tang Clan. Criminal Minded by uh, Karis, well, BDP, basically. Uh, NWA, Straight Outta Compton. Uh, Ready to Die by Biggie. Or Nas's Ill Only Man. one of the albums on there I have never listened to. Can, um, can you guess it? Have you, have you listened to all of them? Man, you know what? I might not have listened to all of these all the way through. I've listened to all of them. I might not have listened to Criminal one. Minded all the way through. I'm not sure. I did back in the days when I was in college. That is yeah. Air Grade B, Rock I listened and, and Pun. I listened yeah. to all those like when I was in college. When I was okay. like discovering hip hop. The only hip-hop. one that I might not have listened to all the way through is probably straight out of college. That's the one I've never listened to. That's probably the I know only the song, one. I, I know the singles, that's as much as I know. Yeah, I know there's singles and I've listened I may to have a, listened to a couple other songs so yeah, so, for reference or whatever. Alright, so best album. We got Big Pun. Best debut album. Not even Big close. Pun. That's that's your Eric that's B. Rock eight. him. All right, so, all right, let's get rid of let's get rid of one. Big pun gone. Dad, that asked. Nah. Have you listened to the album? Yes, I listened to the album. Recently? I said it. Well, not recently, but that's what I'm saying. Trash. Trash. There's some trash stuff. Big pun is trash. Big pun was well, trash. Big pun's first album you know, was trash. You know, you know, I'm, you know, where I'm going with it. You know where I'm going with it. How is it trash, man? You you know where I'm going with it. Where are you going? What, what the first thing I listen to when I hear music? I don't know uh, what everybody else. You think I'm listening to the lyrics? No. What am I listening to? I hear hear music. Uh, the beat. Everybody, of course. But beats, everybody else is listening the to the beats, beats too. Is half trash already. We already gone already. The beats super whack. Like a couple of good songs on there. That's it. <sighs> All right. So I trash. Big, big pun is gone. All it's right. not trash though. I'm, I'm messing with y'all. It's so. okay. It's it's okay, <laughs> but it's not like it's not classic debut I, I album. Think, I think. I think. Count nope, Punishment is a lot better than you give it credit for. I've listened for, to it man. recently, so no. How recent have you listened to it? Within the last year. Within the last year? Me and Haas talk about this album all the time. Oh, wow. So I'm very well versed in this album. Ah. He tries to convince me. He, even he's turned to, turned to the dark side, too. Because <laughs> he know. Because them beats is kind of right. sucks. So how about Paid in Full? How are we feeling about Paid in Full? It's old, it's day, it's old school. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good album. It's a good album. I don't, I, it's, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got some classic jams on it, though. Yeah, it's got some classic, and some classic lines that so many now, rappers now, have, have retooled. And now, my, now I already have my winner on this album, on, on the rest of all of it. And I'm it's, pretty it's, sure. It is not who you think, actually. That's a, that's I, a, a surprise. See, part. I don't know if I have my winner or not, because I'm still looking at, like... Oh, we got artist name uh, Lennon. Lennon, yeah, Lennon. Uh, uh, Lennon. Oh man, I forgot. Uh, Frankie Lennon. No. <laughs> so what up? What up? My bad, John. <laughs> I'm still I'm still stuck between maybe like three or Wait, four. Wait, who 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 you taking off? Who's the second one taking off? All right, the second one I'm taking off it's is. It's like the album you listen to. You should take that off. NWA. <laughs> I'm taking off NWA. The album you never listen to. So NWA and Big Pun are gone. 
Gone. Gone. They're on my they're, they're the gone. first one off my list too. All we got left is Airbnb Kim, Snoop, uh Jay Z. Oh, Boucher. Shots by Nolan. What up, man? What oh, up? Shots by Nolan. What up? What up? Change the name to Shots by Nolan. Confusing us, man. You're killing us. <laughs> no, probably even click on it. Probably has yeah. a Shots by Nolan. So, my bad, Jeff. My bad. So, uh, <laughs> Into the Wu Tang, Criminal Minded, Ready to Die, Nas. Uh, for me, the next one to go. Hmm. Mm, I got mine. I. This is going to be tough. I got mine. It's easy. Jay Z got to go. Yeah, Jay's Jay's Jay Z got to go, and I I really like the reasonable good, it's doubt. A, it's a like, good debut album. Like, check this. Spoiler alert: Whenever we cover reasonable doubt, it's my favorite Jay Z album of all time, and I really I actually think it's a classic. Um, but Jay Z got to go. So all right, so big pun. Jay Z and NWA they out. So now we got Eric B and Rock Eric B and Rock him, Snoop, Wu, Criminal Minded by BDP. Uh, ready to die and Nas. Who gotta go? Who who gotta go? Mm. Who gotta go? No, this side is gone already. They gone. Who who gotta oh, we, go? Yeah, that's crazy. The whole side. Is yeah, crazy. that's <laughs> one, two, three. That's crazy. So who gotta go? Um, it's tough, man. It's tough. It's probably gonna be the older jams, like Criminal Minding and the Angry Beaver. I can probably from because again, my era, my our era is yeah. technically the Pun, Jay Z, Wu. Uh, yeah. Doggy style, Nas, Biggie. Yeah, it. The tough thing though is, the thing for me with Eric B and Rakim is that so many of Nah, Eric B and Rakim is gonna stay there for a while for me. Eric B and Rakim, there's so Actually, much. Let's check what's in, on the album though. Let's check on what's on this particular one. Paid right, in full, right? It's paid in full, right? Yeah, paid in full. So there's so many lines that were taken from that from other oh, rappers yeah, yeah. and it like dude so it's like nah, it's, it's hard it's a, it's to a, no, I'm not I'm not taking it off so you, you can take it off if you want I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not taking it off yet um, this album had Eric B's prevalent ain't no joke yeah. yep you got uh, I know you got so move the crowd paid yep. in full man that's the singles <laughs> so no. it's staying on for me for a while sheesh um man alright Ugh, I do not want to do this. Actual, oh, I do not want to do this, but I'm gonna take this off. I like this album a lot, guys. Before I say this, off. You're taking eyes off. No, Biggie, take it big off. Okay, I can see that. That's not because. But guys, I really like this album. I don't want spoiler alert again. Whenever we re- whenever we cover Ready to Die, I'm gonna like it. I think it's a strong album. I don't know if I'd say it's a classic. I think I think the uh, the um, Life After Death is his. Like Zenith, but of course that's also his final project. But ready to die. How much of uh, Criminal Mind? Mind go. How much of Criminal Mind do you know? Uh, start start hit me with the song. So what they got? South Bronx is on there. Yeah. Nine millimeter go bang goes bang. Words um, is word from the sponsors. Elementary dope beat remix for P is free. Oh yeah, because this is isn't over. the album. Super ho. Criminal Minded is song in Scotland Rock Mega Mix. Super Ho is a funny one though. <laughs> but so, um, so for me, that's the one that's coming off. All right, so and th- and that'll come off for me too. So now we got Eric B and Rakim, Snoop, Wu, and Nas. Those are the four that's left. Eric B, Rakim, Snoop. What is that? What is that? Eric oh, B and for Rakim. You, for you, you well, for both you. of us because we both. I, I said I would take off Criminal Minded too. But you said Biggie. I, oh yeah, I, yeah. I, you're I, not taking off Biggie. I'm, I'm sorry. taking off Criminal Minded before Biggie. Okay, so he's the next one. Oh well, then technically we both took him off in the no, 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 back to back. Yeah, Biggie's next one. Then paid him. Then paid him full was my next one. The last one for me is Snoop, Wu, and Nas. And Nas, Dag, I'm the same. And and Nas the next one off. I'm the same. Biggie and Snoop, Dag, Dag. Biggie Biggie and Wu. I mean, Snoop and Wu are the last two for me. Ugh, I hate to say this, but I feel the same way. I mean, I tried to hold on. I don't know. Now the question is Snoop or Wu. (laughs) <laughs> we're, 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 we're back. We back, y'all. Um, okay. We're discussing the top albums. So, of, of all right, the best debut album, album best from, debut you know, album. that's just floating around. You got Big Pun, Eric B. Rakim, Snoop, Jay-Z, Wu-Tang, Criminal, I mean, BDP, now the NWA. Now, before we, we had the last two, but before we do that, um, all right. thank you for coming back, Marquis. What up, what up? Um, do, would you add anything on to this list? Is the question? Ha ha ha! Since we have some of the debut album for ba- that we just talked about, most I would definitely you would put add most. On, okay. Well, anyone else's debut album you would put on there? Debut album. Mm. I, think 
I know this sounds out of the ordinary, and I know we just made fun of her last week or week before, but Lil' Kim's first album is crazy as far as the singles are concerned. Like, Lil' Kim's first one. album is crazy for singles. I got a good one for debut album. What's up? Missy. Ooh! Good, good Lord, debut. And good debut. BA, two up, two down. Good debut. You know what? Who? I don't even buy up there. Man. Buster Rhymes coming. Oh, God. But, but the problem is he went, he kept going up. What is his album? Yeah. The, the Coming is not his best album. But if it's we're good, just talking about the best debut, debut album out of, out of everybody's debut albums, Ooh-ha. if you put Buster in here, Buster for me beats Nas's joint hands down. Uh, like, say if we were to put, if we were to swap out Buster and put, Dag, you know what? Oh, man. Buster's might take out Snoop's for me. Snoop, Snoop is a very good debut album. Snoop, Another I'm, classic. Actually, Snoop, well, if we're going to keep telling the list, Snoop is actually my number one. I choose you Snoop know. over Wu's debut album. Because yeah, I like me Wu's, too. Because I like Wu's second album so much yeah. that the debut album is great. No. Well, no, we're just, we're just saying debut versus debut, I though. I know, but I'm saying, like, the Wu's debut. Oh, see, debut versus debut. No. See, because we're not, we're not comparing to the rest of their catalog. Just debut for debut. Here's why I give it to Snoop over Wu. I got to give it to Snoop, then. I think Snoop's album is a better made album. That's why I had to give it to, to them. Now, the Wu got that griminess for you, though. Man, the, yeah, we were just talking. Easy, 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 kid. Well, good well, morning. We got to think, these, these albums are what a couple months apart because yeah, Doggy Style was in '94, right. right? Yeah, and Wu was at the end of '93. Yeah, November yeah. 11th. Built in camouflage, large. Yeah, you know what I mean. Champion like gear that I rock to get your boots not man. But Soggy Styles. But doggy I think styles. I think Doggy Styles the. Doggy Style is a better album. Oh, no, made sorry, it's 93. Album. Sorry, it's 93. Oh, it is? It actually okay. came out, wow, uh, two weeks after <laughs> Wu-Tang. Wow. wow. So, so it sounded like they're not, they were even done in the same year. Yeah. Not even the same decade. It's a very, it's a, it's just, it's a better made album. I think it's a better made album. Oh, yeah. The wu Shots by Nolan is back. Shots by Nolan, what up, what up? What up, what up? Um, so, yeah, Snoop wins yeah. for me. Snoop wins this. So, you got Big Pun. Eric B and Rakim, Snoop, Jay Z, Wu Tang, uh, BDP, NWA, Biggie Smalls, and Nas's debut albums. Snoop comes out for me. What do you think about this? Adding Kanye's debut album. What would, you, what would you say now to that? I still think Snoop beats that. No, I'm not saying for the over top. I'm saying would you add on to the top ten list? If we were, if we were top ten debut top albums, top ten. that's one we'd have to put together, Dad. For me to, all right, top ten debut albums. We already said Missy. We already said uh, Busta Rhymes. No, um, that's, that, that's people I would add to the list. I don't think oh, yeah. would make a top ten. I'm just adding names to the list that would that to, to, to spice it up a little bit. We're gonna do that next okay. week. Now the because I, I have to sit. And no, really no, think but about the question, that. the reason I'm saying is because, like we said, Wu Tang, right? Yeah. Are we counting all the albums that they had solo as their debut albums? Because I'm putting Cuban Links, I'm oh. putting Liquid Swords, and I'm putting. ODB's first Ooh. album on the list. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, are we counting like debut when we first heard you? Or we count like, like if you're in a group, Man. does that count? See what I'm saying? Because then that means that if you were to talk about, you would be able to reference Iron Man, which is a hell of an album. Cuban Links, whoo! Liquid Swords, anyone? Lights, Liquid cameras, swords? and action, glamour, glitters, and gold. I unfold the scrolls. Man, sh- that's the question. Whoo! That is the question. But I, can I get his only... Dirty's, Dirty's first album is one of those, like... It's like a... And, of course, it's dirty. But it's like it's like a diamond wrapped in, in like, manure. Because it's like... The album, like, sonically is like, what are we doing here? Yeah, it's But crazy. this joint got some bangers. Yeah. Nah, it's Man. fire. It's fire. Man. That's the that's question I'll ask. Because, like, some of these... I think Wu's the only one you can do that for because they yeah. were the only one that actually within within their Shh. debut came up with a solo album within the two or three years. Not Man. even. Not even. You're talking about Cuban Link. All right, C- Cuban Links and and I- Cuban Links. Cuban Links and, and Iron Man. No, no. For me, Ooh. Cuban Links and Liquid Swords are going to make the list. For yeah, me. Liquid Swords. God. Man, you have because because the energy and that's why I said if they would have 
if they would have worked more, and, and I know, you know, you got tours and you got, you know, clothes and you got to be here for commercials and stuff. Oh, but okay. Because they have Wu Wear. You think they, they were really working on Wu Wear? But I'm just saying, you have other things to do. You got to tour, you got to do features for other people and stuff. But man, if they would have cooked out, say, like two more albums. Like a deck album and a you guy album, which would essentially been just like Liquid Source. It would have been like a I I, album. deck album was was supposed to be done. It just that flood kind of killed his career. Oh. His, his, his debut. Basically. Yeah, I forgot RZA did have that flood that um, killed a lot of that killed Method Man's album basically too. Yeah, they had to redo the joint like a month. Wow, that's why it's not my favorite to Cal. It's not my favorite Wu Tang solo. Yeah, album. but um, I'm trying to think anyone else. Um, Yo, that. But as far as debut albums... But debut, I guess debut would have to be the Wu-Tang Forever. Because you can't count those as debut albums. Yeah. Because like, technically it's their debut as a solo artist, but their debut yeah. is as a, it was as a group. Same thing with NWA, so we can't count Drake's Yeah, you first. can't really we count, can't count the Chronic. can't count the Chronic because it's not technically can't count a debut. Ice first albums either. Yeah, because it's, it's... The first time I heard Ice Cube was with NWA. It's NWA. So that's so, why it's like, ah! Yeah. If it, you're in a group, I think it should be like a group debut and like a solo debut. You yeah. Because... Split up a little bit. Even KRS One's first album. Yeah. Can't count that. Scream Return of the Boom Bat. Can't count it. Yeah, because technically can't, can't be on the list. Cause that's cause that's the album that I was thinking it was, but I was looking at the cover, I was like, that's not the album. And I was like, so man, but Return of the Boom Bap is a dope. It's a very New York hip hop album. But it's a dope album. Yeah, wow, it's dope. Man. Wow. Anyone else? So yeah, that? Snoop Snoop wins this one. Looking at my list up there, I like at the albums of Who? Nah, cause some don't count. Cause they did volume one though. Yeah, they did they did they volume too one. Many versions of yeah, there was like there was like three or four versions they of volume can't, one. They can't make the list. Yeah. Mm, Who else? So, CL Smooth now. They stuff like that. Um I don't know this stuff. I don't like know, that. I can't remember it like that. Kinda, I only remember no, this. No, okay. no can I buy a dollar is now. not Nah, nah, no way. Near. You'd really wanna, you really wanna angle for a resurrection on that one, and even resurrection, I think, what hasn't about, aged as well. What about like loot pack or something like that? I'm thinking like outside the box a little bit. Of loot the regular, packs are the regular classics. We, we covered loot pack. In, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we, oh, we can't. Well, who, the question is, my beat. Which one we're counting as a debut album? Is a question. Because if you count the infamous as a debut album, that's a hot album. It's got to be on the list. But if we count Hell, Juvenile Hell, then no. Huh. And I think that's a debut, so we can't count it. Yeah, Juvenile Hell. The only problem that I have with Infamous as a whole is stopping the whole album to be like, right. yo, son, I'm the hardest, so, roughest, so, toughest. Marquise <laughs> asked, um, Doggy Style or Last Meal? Last Meal? Yeah, I got. I'm, I'm actually got to look that that one up. Last, wait, what is it? Yo, what is it? Yo, what's Wikipedia doing? Look at that one right there. Whoa, that's somebody's album or something. What is that? That is a thing. Wow, internet trolling group. Okay, whatever. Wow, I didn't know that was even a thing. Okay, didn't know that was a thing. That's where that came up when I searched last meal. <laughs> Interesting. So last meal was the one he had on uh, No Limit. Bruh, really? Look, just get out. Just get out of here. That's the one that has. Snoop's my, What's My Name Part 2 and Hennessy and Booty at Lay Lows on there. You better than Lay Low. <laughs> nah, man. Last Meal is not messing with <laughs> Doggy Style. No, Last Meal. I was wondering if that was an album, but I was like, I ain't going to say that until we got the proof. Bruh. No? No good? Come on now. Come on now. Nah. Come, come on, son. Was, that, was he trolling? I think he was trolling. Yeah, you had to be. I, I think, think he was, was trolling, trolling us. Was trolling. Yeah, Snoop Snoop wins over this one kind of handily. The closest one to him, in my mind, is probably either Nas or Wu. But the production value and also the way the album flowed was just so much better on on Doggy Style. Oh yeah, Doggy I Style mean, seemed Dre's like behind it. Yeah. Dre's already had now. But even to the even to the like the uh, interludes and the the skits. Just it seemed like a, a produced piece. It's like, Dre. Well, yeah, yeah, true. This is the chronic. It's a it's a chronic part two. Well, yeah, it is. A that is part his two. probably chronic one he wanted to come up with. Chronic part yeah. two. It's Doggy yeah. Style. Yeah, so, so that's it, another classic album. Doggy Style. It can't not in this group. Can't be touched. 
Um, yeah, this group, no. Nah. Because I heard it when it came out. My brother bumped it, 93. The funny 94. thing is, I remember, this is when hip-hop started getting very, uh, like, vulgar as far as, like, cussing, you know. I think the West. The, H and B's and stuff. And West Coast getting definitely more, brought that vibe. Yeah, and it started getting more and more prevalent. You would hear a little bit about the East Coast stuff. Yeah, but like, they but, really, like, West Coast. Yeah, like, West Coast. And their really, big kind of set that tone. And their big was the beginning of that. Yeah. Uh, and there's a whole storyline behind that whole conspiracy theory with that too, like the whole NWA idea, and then like, so, you know, kind of like Reckley was saying, hey, let's do do more of that so we can, get, you know, yeah. There's a, this whole like weird conspiracy theory and like Illuminati talk about the NWA and like that was the beginning of when things started to turn in terms of yeah, you're how right. the music messages became like you're really right. about one thing. Yep. So B's and H's. And yep, B's and H's. T's too. Tricks. Don't forget. Oh tricks. yeah, tricks. Cause, yeah, I know. You know, because they're not anything but, but H's and H's and T's. Yes. Yes. So, it, man, I remember listening to Snoop. I, I turned it on, and I, I immediately do. I'm not supposed to be listening to this. Yeah, it was <laughs> danger. Bro, like, like the intro is like they let you know when you got up in this joint. Yeah, and you heard it a little bit on Ready to Die because I guess he was influenced by Doggy Style. Yeah. Cause you heard a little bit like mixed into like even with the skits and stuff like that on Dog, yeah. on um, Ready to Die. You're like okay, yeah, it's vulgar, definitely vulgar. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it just it definitely changed the game. Maybe for worse now that we think about it. Um, but it changed. The I mean, game. as far as like the NWA, it kind changed of tree the game. And, uh, it just changed the game. I don't yeah, know for worse. Yeah, yeah. It just it was a it was a thing. I think now. It's, Looking it, back on it's it, it's had ripple effects. Yes, definitely. Yeah, but it it definitely you know it, it definitely had ripple effects, and and not for the for the better. I think for the good for maybe what was good what good came out of it actually. I'm thinking about it. What good came? I mean the music. From, they're like doggy style. You wouldn't have doggy doggy style without NWA. So there's yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> you would have the chronic without NWA. So there's that. I guess. Yes. I guess. But then like the messaging from those albums, did we need it? That's another, uh, it's tough. That's tough when you think, but I mean, the albums are still great. It's just like, when you think about like the success and the popularity, which also then drove people to want to try to be, try to be, you know, yeah. even people that didn't make music were trying to become gangsters and stuff. Yeah. Because of NWA. Like, yeah, like yes. that's what I'm think. Not Arabian Prince, not um, not DJ Yellow. I think it was DJ Yellow. They were a uh, VAD interview way back in the day. Oh boy. He's like, yeah, people just, they weren't like that before NWA. Like and they and everyone started to just want to be gangbangers, yeah, and be hardcore and stuff. And like, yo, these mem- their members aren't even because like the that. music had a certain the, energy. The, the in members it weren't to... even doing that stuff; they were yeah. just talking about it. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, for the, for all intents and purposes, Easy really wasn't living that life. He was a, in, in Easy a wasn't even writing his own rhymes. Easy was more of a dope <laughs> boy than an actual gangster. Because, like, people forget mm. in the streets there's levels. There's people that hustle. Like, you know, they always got DVDs, CDs, yeah. shoes, and purses. You know what I'm saying? Those are people. Then you got people that, like, they they sell drugs, but they're not dealers. And what I mean is, like, oh, I bought I bought a half a pound. I got a little bit. I'll sell a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But they're not dealers. But they, they sell drugs from time to time. But Easy was an actual drug dealer. But he wasn't out there like killing people every day. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. He wasn't out there riding. That's the part we get to the gangster part is the killing. The gangster part, which is the killing part, like he won't live in that life. Like he's like, yo, I, I I sell drugs. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But it's man thinking about that. Who knows? Who knows how it would have been? But with this, you know what I'm saying, guys. This Snoop wins. Snoop wins this group. You know, for the best debut. I yeah, we might have to do like a like a debut album Olympics or something. But we gotta ask for the two. We gotta put the groups and solo. Yeah, we gotta we can't have them together. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. Oh, what about this? What about De La's debut? Yeah, so we couldn't technically NWA. Three feet high and, horizon. Would you yeah. put that on there? Is the question. Would I put it in best uh, debuts? Hmm. All right, so. If we're talking about groups, because technically NWA and Wu shouldn't be on this, so no, what well, they're still they, we're, we're doing it together. In the, yeah, in, in, but in I'm the, just saying if we were to separate, the, like, no, I'm not separate. I'm saying oh, you're not, this oh. idea of where we can move this. Would you put De La Soul in the top nine or top ten or just at least mm. on the list to kind of mix it up a little bit? Because you got to think about it. Everyone on here, move. I, I can't see who's all else is on there, but I think 
but now that you say that, I think that group should be separated because it's a little unfair against a single. So technically, like BDP, Wu and NWA shouldn't be there, and you know Airbnb. No, 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 no. You mean you mean it should be one way or the other? You're saying? Yeah, it should be one way or the other. Okay. So like you saying group, it shouldn't be there? Mean it shouldn't be? It shouldn't be like they shouldn't be together. Like That's solo right. artists should be with solo artists, yeah. and groups should be with groups. Um, if I was to say top. Yeah, man, three feet, three feet high and rising is good. It's really good. That's I'm trying to think of. Uh, I'm trying to think of other that. groups. <laughs> That's your people. That Could I put it in a? All right, so we got. We would have stuff like Wu, NWA. I think. I think Dela definitely fits. Um, I think Dela. Now the question is this too. Also, when we talk about groups, are we doing duos? Are we doing actual groups? Because then you got That's another category. Because Outcast, yeah, what about right. Outcast? Because Outcast is technically a duo and not a group, so Outcast will be in their own lane. I mean, there's it, not it, enough duos because you got what? Airbnb and Rakim is a duo. The, yeah, but I'm just saying that's one. But, but are we doing rhyme duo, rapping duos? Are we doing like DJ and produ- rhyme duos? Because if, if we're doing that, if we're just doing duos, period, you got uh, Reflection Eternal, mm. <laughs> Airbnb and Rakim, Black Star, Black Star. Um, Outcast, Outcast. Whoo, that's not a bad. That's not a bad. EPMD, like, EPMD. Who I think it will probably be the weakest of that group. Yeah, I'm just putting. I'm just putting. Yeah, but I'm just saying duos, duos. But uh, that's not a bad group of duos right there. No, it's not. Like, a bad that's group. not a bad show. Like I would buy tickets to that show. Like that's not. That's not a bad show. I mean, I know Eric B and Rakim don't deal with each other no more. So it's like, but you know, it. What other duos are there? I know there's more duos that we're missing, but. Yeah, it, you know what I'm saying? I don't like know. Like Capone Noriega? Yeah, it's Capone Noriega. And their, de- their debut album was pretty good. Yeah, because we covered it and we liked it. Blackout, which is technically a duo album from these two artists of the debut. Wow. I guess you could consider that a technically debut. Technically, it's a debut album from that duo because they dropped two albums at least. So they're a group. They're a duo at least. Wow. Mm, yes, Method actually can fit on this own. When you start to get, when you start to get on technical, no, no, Matt could be, Matt could be on three different categories. And the Wu album, Wu album, his solo, Chacal, and, and Blackout, and Blackout. Yeah. If yeah. you put up Blackout against a bunch of them albums for me, I'm like, you know how I am. Yeah, no, you know how I feel about that. Album. <laughs> that album, that album has energy. That album, that album just has an energy I don't about think anyone it. else. Redman's so a do the do a debut. I don't know. I never heard it. I don't remember. Um, that. Oh, the what album? Or is that the Dark Side one? Which one is it? Ooh, is the what? The first? I think it's there. The what is his first album. There's a Dark Side is the second album. Okay. Um, the what? I don't think the what really has what it takes. It's not that it's a bad album. When I think about top solo hip hop joints, though. What's what? Is that the one that had Tonight's the Night on it? I want to say, I think that I think that's the what. I think that's the white album. Yeah, I think that's the white. Yeah. So it's yeah, the what? it's the white. Time for some actions on here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's like two joints. The, the it's, 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 it's got good. some. It's got some dips. It's yeah. got some dips. He has some singles though. Oh yeah, he what's has. On, what's on, wait? What's on Dare's a Dark Side though? Um, Rockefeller. Can't wait. I don't know any songs. Um, I, that's this is the Red Man. I don't know. I don't know Red Man from Mighty Waters yeah. on. Yeah, it's like. There's a Dark Side is one of them albums that doesn't really, it's not really for me. I agree with you, uh, Shots by Nolan. What do you say? War Report is the best thing Nori ever done. Yeah. Because technically he's on, he's, it feels like a Nori album. Because Capone yeah. is on it like, it's Twice? like, no, Capone's on like, uh, he's on more than half the songs. Why does it only seem like he's on like two songs? Because Tragedy's on more of the songs than he is on. <laughs> it's basically Capone, it's, on, it's basically Nori ever uh, Noriega and, and Tragedy featuring Capone. That's what it's like. It's like it's like um, what would it be? It's it's like uh, it's like Iron Man. All right. And and because Iron Man and, is really and Noriega's is Noriega's Ghost, Tragedy's Raekwon, and and Cap Capone is actually Capadonna. All right. That's how man, I'm Iron Man is a. Oh man, Iron Man is so good. There's only one song on there that I got a real issue with. What song? Wildflower. No smoking the lungs, no smoking the lungs. That's all. It's a dope beat, but man, like the lyrics, I'm like, bro. What? Man, nah, sick. man. It's a good. Nah, man. You sleeping, man. Yeah. So, yeah, you stink. 
That's about how you set the song. That set the tone of his whole career. Think about it. Think about all those songs. Think yeah. about projects. His verse on projects. Yeah, I know. You can, you can start. You can start I naming know. the verses now. I know. I know. It's just it's it, it's a lot for me. I like even, that. Even to listen to now, it's a lot. For it, me. It's add some spice to the group, man. Because there's a lot. A lot of dudes is real boring, yo. It's for real, for real. Like and personality wise, it seems like you're boring. So he was the one that had personalities. Like, yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that it doesn't stand out and that it's not a and he definitely, good song. And he but definitely was going up the ODB tree when he did those songs. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Because you, you have dog poop. Yeah, but you think, but I think about it. He was definitely barking oh, up. He definitely was barking up the ODB. He definitely was influenced by ODB when he was doing those verses. Hands yeah. down. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, he's guys. He's ODB on. Well, guys, that's it. Then we we we've done we have done our due diligence. All right, we have held y'all down, did some fun stuff. We talked about Most Def's twentieth anniversary. What's up? One last thing. What's up? Debut album. What's up? Welcome to Detroit. Technically, first album. And he's on the side. He's rapping <laughs> I don't on know there. If you want to? Is that stretch? He's rapping on there. He's got songs. It's oh, his really? name on it. But since it's Della, I'll let you. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Why are you a listener? Well, well, you don't like Welcome to Detroit? Well, no, I like Welcome to Detroit. It's, it's a on little, the list. It's I'm a little on un, the list. It's a little unfair. How? <laughs> How? It's like saying Blackout is a debut album. It's not really a debut. I mean, it is, but it is. It did a solo album. It's his first album. All right. Okay. But well, we like, talked about that. People are like, Math Man fits in three categories. Della fits yeah. in two. I mean, he shouldn't. Actually, but he fits does. in three, actually. Duo. Uh, Mad Lib. Oh, snap. j is... It counts. j is stupid. Or Doom. How about Doom? Doom's debut album. What was that? What was Doom's debut album? Doomsday. Uh, uh, Doomsday. Doomsday. Oh, Doomsday. Dad, I haven't listened to Doomsday because I always listen to food all the time. Mm-hmm. But I haven't listened to Doomsday in like forever. I don't even know if that's good or not. Dad. That's a good one. <laughs> it's a great pod. No robots. I guess it's meant to be on like yeah, robots. No robots. Yeah. No Program robots. Program robots. So. We missed yeah. somebody though. I know we missed something, but when we have a real show about, we'll actually be able to sit down and be connected. Volume one. <laughs> oh boy. That is not. That is not. Anyway, we out of here. It's debut. Look, guys, we out. I check everybody, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for hanging with us. He ain't us. rapping though. Yeah, yeah, he ain't right. But man, Quasimodo then. Quasimodo then. Unseen. Which one? Unseen. Is that? No, that's further adventure. That's what we did. Oh, further adventures. Oh, we got one that had um, microphone mathematics and uh, oh yeah, and um, oh and um. I don't think that's as good as the. No, it's not. It's good. We're talking about debuts. More yeah. debuts, yeah, yeah. We're talking yeah. about debuts again. You yeah. never said this before. Sorry, my bad. We're only talking yeah, about yeah. debuts. Only debuts. Um, I guess. It's just, it's hard to listen to, it's hard to look at that when he straight karate chop, drop kick, sumo slam, all the beats on loop pack. On loop pack. Yeah. And further, man, loop pack, dude made like, I don't know, 200 beats for one album, son. It's like mad beats on that joint. And, like, there's maybe two of them that I don't like. And it's like, man, the joint with Dilated. Shh. Any newer artist debuts? Con Kendrick Lamar debut? Would you buy it? Right? Which one yeah, would you which, count as his That's debut? the question. Is it we're check count section 80 or are we catching, uh, doing Good Kid, Mad City? That's the question. It would probably be considered Good Kid, Mad City, probably. That's a great debut, then. I'll put him on the list. Yeah, yeah. I'll put that on the list. Word up. Well, guys, look. We you don't forget the new artists, okay? We can do we can do this all day, but check it. We gotta bounce. It's time. That's a good topic. Time. A debut. We should do an album. But yes, just show about that. Best debut album. Highlight us down there in the it's comments topic. below. Thank you for chilling with us. We got to shout out who? Uh, Markeith Collins. Uh, Shots, Shots by, by Nolan. Nolan. I'll go see. I'll go see. Uh, yes, yeah, my oh, no, uh, yeah, Thought album. crimes Thought usually crime. comes through. Um. Let's see. Alan Lewis, Little Miss Chocolate. Thomas D. Thomas D. Who else? I don't know. We got mad stuff going on. So, before we get out of here, to my left, we have Architron. What, that's me? Oh, yeah. That's me. You can find me at A-R-C-K-A-T-R-O-N dot com. 
and you can find the new music that should be coming out within the next three, four weeks. It's called The Space Bridge. Ooh. You should go check it out. Yeah. All right? Actually, yeah. while you're waiting, go check out my other stuff. Like 10 albums up there. Yeah. Check them out. What are you doing? Yeah. Why are you still sitting here? Yeah, go do that. And who I got to my right? N-E-R-D-S-O-U-L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, iHeartRadio, Podcast, all that good stuff. Holla at your boy. Uh, thank you for rolling through. Thank you for sticking with us, you know, internet craziness, all that, whatever, all that stuff. But we here. We here. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all. So, don't forget, we got Nerd Soul Gaming coming this week. We got Talk About Power coming this week. Greenleaf. Uh, I'm going to set something up on House of X and Powers of X from X-Men Storylines. We got tons of cool stuff coming. So, guys, thank you for chilling out. And until next time, uh, 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 uh. Oh, I didn't say that. Hey, 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 I didn't say nothing to you guys. Hey, hey. Okay, same thing. All right, you, you can finish that. We out, y'all. Peace. Peace up. A-Town down. NJ down. VA up. Oh, I hit N, I guess. LA. And LA, where we are. Yeah. I guess I hit the N, right? Yeah, you got to hit N. But when you hit it, it actually stops. You don't have to hit it. Once you hit N, yours stops. I can't reach it. And... I can't reach it. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless and good night. Eek.